Good morning, good morning. So what's up? It's Chris coming to you with Formula G. Excuse the mess you see back here. We're doing a little bit of renovations here in the garage, but today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, ceramic coating and some of the processes that goes behind ceramic coating and, um, and some of the things that ceramic coating doesn't do, right? So for example, ceramic coating is not gonna protect it from a flame. A ceramic coating is not, it's not like an invincible shield that's going to protect it from a, a boulder or a rock. Uh, some of the stories that we've been hearing as far as like the ceramic coating and what it does, I think there's a lot of misconceptions out in the market uh, and I kind of wanted to address that, right? So what ceramic coating is, and this is uh, Adam's UV line, new UV line, it's basically a, on, this is a, a, on this truck, um, it's a, it's a layer that gives you super gloss and depth, but it acts as a sacrificial layer so that way your clear coat um, isn't damaged. So for example, um, there's a layer that goes above your clear coat, right? And so if there's any uh, scratching or sore marks or anything, that layer above, which is the ceramic, uh, is sacrificial and that can get damaged so the clear doesn't and then at that point, you would just reapply uh, a new layer of ceramic. The reason this truck is so uh, nice and bright is because this truck has been ceramic. But for the just 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 for the sake of this example, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you um, part of the process, part of the ending process behind this. Uh, we're going to use our dry wash. Um, and you can find our dry wash at uh, getformulag.com. You could also f uh, find us on Instagram, getformulag.com, Facebook, Formula G, YouTube, Formula G. So um, this dry wash, and you've seen many videos on, uh, you can safely clean your vehicle uh, without any abrasive agents inside the formula and um, you just wipe one direction, right? You wanna get all that dirt off. See that on the towel, okay? Okay. Let's uh, flip this side, because that side's already dirty. And there we go, see? All that dirt, yeah, okay. So that goes bye bye. Then you get a new towel. Go ahead and do your buff off. But we're gonna pretend that. There you go. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, it looks really good. And um, but we're gonna go ahead and pretend that. I guess you can see it's already been polished. There's no imperfections. No swirls. No scratches. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and now we're at the part where the vehicle got done being polished, okay? And um, so now that it's been polished, the, the compounds or the polish that you used have now left an oils on the surface, right? So now you gotta remove those oils and if you don't remove those oils, then it, the ceramic's not gonna bond. So we're gonna go ahead and use Adam's surface prep. Okay, and it smells kind of like Windex a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And now we're gonna let it sit a little bit. It's almost like it's gonna perspire because it's gonna remove all the oils, all the waxes um, from the surface, right? So again, on this one here, we're gonna use the clean side of a microfiber towel. Go ahead and wipe that off, guys. Boom, 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 looking good, boom. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this over, get the new clean side and make sure there's no residue left. And I think it looks amazing. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna take our Adams applicator pad and we're gonna take the ceramic And we're gonna go ahead and put a few drops of ceramic on there. And here's the trick. 
you got to work in three by three sections. So what I would do in this case, I'm going to go two by two, okay, just to be safe. And you'll see, you see the coating right there? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and apply. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. I'm going to cross match and um, make sure that the ceramics are already flashing as you can see. So now you want to take one of Adam's wipe off towels and this is going to take the initial layer of ceramic. You're not going heavy, you're just going to wipe it off easy. And now you're going to take a buff off towel and any of the remaining you're going to go ahead and uh, buff off. Just like so. That's part of the process. And as you can see, we use a lot of tools, a lot of equipment because these towels, yeah, you could get them rather cheap. These towels are more expensive. These towels are definitely, definitely expensive. Obviously ceramic goes anywhere between $100 to $150, $60. Um, and then you need the proper equipment, right? But you also need the right polishers. You also, uh, it takes, it's time consuming and you gotta have an eye for it, guys. So all I'm saying is that the reason uh, the professionals um, are charging anywhere between 800 to on up to $5,000 is because it's very time consuming. And it's a lot of labor hours. And at the same time, you wanna make sure you do a right job. So cool, hit the channel, subscribe, let us know what you think. Give us some comments down, down below and uh, make sure you follow Get Formula G.